you guys, so I'm awake, I'm setting up, um, I'm having really bad acid reflux, um, just total burning in my throat, so I took, um, medicine for that, and then my mom's making toast, and then we're going to, um, go to Home Depot, and do that, and then, um, I have my dressing change out too, and then, um, going to my grandma's afterwards, so I'm uh, just trying to get this burning down, this is awful, um, and my mom is making toast, so I told her to give me like 20 minutes and I'll get up, I just have to throw pants on, so morning you guys. Alright, so I am actually um, up and dressed and all of that, and my mom's on the phone with somebody because I think Actually, I'm not really too sure why she's on the phone, um, but she was just measuring the um, box spring of a mattress we have randomly in there. Now. So this is my parents' room. I should give you guys a house tour. Um, maybe I can do that today. That'd be fun. Um, so this is their room. This is their bed, and then there's a mattress right here, and then um, there's another mattress downstairs because we're moving my sister into um, an apartment for school, actually a house. Um, you know what, I'm gonna give you guys a tour, a house tour. Um, I, I, oh, by the way, I'm going to my grandma's after my dress I change, which is at two, so maybe when I get back, um, or maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Yeah, I'll give you guys a house tour. I don't want to get nice gloves for my garden. These are cute. Garden gloves. Only they were in seven dollars. So cute. So privately owned, um, like healthy grocery store, home market. I love places like this. They have the juice bar right here. Oh, did you look at the... Yeah. It's only a fun trip today. Um, we came to Pure One Imports. Yeah. And they have the finest stuff. It makes me so excited about my future apartment because decorating is going to be so much fun. I love this design. I'm excited. So excited. Ah. Okay guys, so now that I'm kind of deciding to go a little bit like more raw and transparent um, with things that people don't really talk about in social media. Um, you know you guys, uh, if you're new, both of my grandmas have dementia. Um, if you're not new, then you know that my, my mom's mom is um, the grandma I'm a caretaker for. Um, she's 80, 88, I believe. Yes, she's 88. Um, she can walk, but she spends most of the day in like a recliner. Um, she falls a lot, she's very overweight, um, and her memory is going, but not. she's not mean. It's like she just repeats the same stories over and over and over. Anyway, um, because of her weight and because of where she is cognitively, um, we are only really able to get her into showering like once a week. And since she's overweight, um, you know, like, bacteria is a lot easier to mess up your skin and everything and you know lying on the same thing all day too i would assume cause um bed sores and stuff like that so i bought this for my mom because my mom's like the number one caretaker and i'm number two and um i bought these on amazon for my mom so that we can use them for my grandma they're um they are shower wipes 
and so it says cleansing and deodorizing, big bathing wipes. It's hypoallergenic and like latex free. It has no alcohol, microwave safe, and has aloe vera. And then um, actually on the back, which is really interesting, it says for each of the following areas to use, because there's eight wipes in this, so like they're separated. Um, like each bath is in a separate container, which is really cool. So it says like one, face, neck, and chest, two, left arm, three, right arm, four, perineum, five, left leg, right leg, back, and buttocks, and stuff like that. And it's supposed to, it just is supposed to be really, really good. So I use shower wipes not very often, but I do use shower wipes um, that I've gotten from the hospital before, and I really like them, so. I might even heat these up because it says I can heat them up, so I just wanted to let you guys know um, I will be giving my grandma a sponge bath, so I recommend shower wipes even if it, like, you need it for the gym, even if you're not sick, uh, I recommend these, like, so much. Shower wipes are amazing, so. Hey guys, so I was at my grandma's for a while, just taking care of her, doing, like, all the normal things, and then, um... I came home and I had a bit of a meltdown. After the meltdown, I went for a walk with my mom, but um, I'm just struggling a ton emotionally recently. Um, yeah, I just don't know what to do. To try. I'm doing everything I can to try to help myself, and it's just, I don't know. So, um... That's what's up. I'm gonna, um, we're gonna cut up the watermelon that me and Adrian got the other day. And then I got, like, the new tea that my sister gave me. I'm gonna, tr um, make that and then drink it. And that's about it. Uh, so we're gonna cut up the massive watermelon that was only six dollars. Um, so that's gonna be good. I'm also really thirsty. Um, so I'm hoping the watermelon will actually help that. So, hopefully it works. I love watermelon. I don't know the last time I've had it. I don't know if it's gonna line up. Probably will. Six dollars, though, is pretty good. Oh, oh you did a good what? job! <laughs> well, what? you did a pretty good job. <laughs> so while I'm setting up my IV bag, my infusion for the night, I'm gonna talk to you guys. We just had, uh, maybe about an hour ago, some really weird slash crazy thing happened and potentially really, really, really upsetting. We have that outdoor cat, Dalma, that I've been talking about a lot recently. And she, we don't bring her in at night. Um, we make sure she's taken care of and fed and, you know, has been with somebody, um, you know, within the day. but. We're not bringing her in at night or anything like that and she seems to disappear when it gets dark out and i guess goes wherever she sleeps and then spends the rest of like the actual day day um with us in our backyard and um basically we were in the kitchen me and my mom and we we assumed i guess like that she might have been still on our deck um but we didn't know for sure um because she just, just kind of disappeared because we can see her she like stays up at the door staring into our house when she's awake um, and when it's during the day and so um, we were we had Rosie near us and we um, just suddenly um, heard the screech and uh, something like banging on the door or something like that and um, the two of us just kind of like looked at each other and just uh, freaked out. We kind of jumped up and I ran out um, with um, my flashlight on on my phone and then my mom a little while later came inside to like look to see if we could find her anywhere and we never found her. So we don't, we don't know if it was a male cat that just wanted to basically um, have sex with her to like reproduce or if it was like a raccoon and like if it was something and we also don't know if it if it e even was her but she's the only cat we keep around so like 
odds are it was probably her. Um, so our biggest concern right now is that it was a, um, she's spayed so she can't get pregnant and so um, what we're scared of right now is it possibly being a raccoon and because she's, she's pretty t tiny, um, you know, that the raccoon attacked her and ate her or something. You know, we're just hoping and praying that, um, you know, that if it was her, that it was just for sex. Um, because when we went outside too, she had peed and gone to the bathroom all over the deck, so whatever happened to her, she freaked out about, she got scared. Anyway, so long story short, we don't know what happened. Um, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to just go downstairs into my kitchen. We were checking on her before we um, came up to like our rooms. And so what I'm going to do is like once an hour, I'm going to go down and just check. And if she's there, um, shut up. If she's there, um, I'm going to wake my mom up and we're going to bring her in and, and put her in a bathroom um, in her house so she's safe. Um, I hate the fact that I have tremors. This is awful. I don't even know why. I'm going to just work on my vlog stuff. I'm going to pay for my class and... Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll just keep you guys updated if we find out anything about Thelma. So, this was not, I was crying. Um, you know, this isn't what I wanted to spend my night doing, is freaking out. So, see you guys soon.